Hi everyone, back again with another memory column from 1988. Uh, oh, no, 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 sorry. <laughs> so this one is from October 1988. It's called Stage Mom. I am pleased to announce that three of our children are in the local production of How to Eat Like a Child. The fourth is working backstage on the crew. Because of this theatrical happening, I had become a stage mother. It would be a lie to say I wasn't proud of our offspring. They've worked hard to memorize their speaking and singing parts, as have all the children in the cast. Behind the scenes, we stage mothers have a distinctive and important job. We're there to beam broadly, sound our enthusiastic support, and to get our kids to rehearsals on time. As a mother, I'm supposed to overlook Rob's unpredictable, changing voice. I, along with anyone lucky enough to be in the audience, will be privileged to hear this adolescent's unique brand of singing, accented, of course, by appropriate squeaks. As I watched the rehearsals from the wings where I assisted Rachel Joe, I had the urge to find some stranger, any stranger, and say, hey, look, that's one of my kids up there. Isn't he or she extraordinary? Imagine what I'd do if Rob had any amount of singing ability. Russell's also in the cast, mostly in the chorus, though I do believe he has five speaking lines all to himself. Each time one of Russell's solo lines come, comes up, I'm ready to cheer him on. He's only eight, and there isn't much of him yet. He needs his mother for moral su support more than Rob does. Their mothers have a special te telepathy with our children. If Russell even near is missing a line. I can think real hard and help him remember. When it's time for Rachel Joe to go out before the live audience, my heart will be in my throat. She's my baby. And that's the way I'm supposed to feel. Kind of sick. But of course, everyone's going to love her. She's so cute. Becky is the only Mansky not on stage. For the first time, I worried about her sensitive feelings more than all the others put together. Would she suffer inwardly because she felt left out? She's so like me. I feel her pain most of all. It's a rough business being mother of four stars, but I'm trying not to be stereo a stereotypical stage mother. I'm not there to tell the director how to run the show or to get the kids more solo parts or better stage positions. Honestly, I don't care who says or sings what, as long as all the children in the cast and on the crew are having fun, which they seem to be. My job is to join the other proud parents, grandparents, and relatives and friends to applaud so hard my hands hurt and laugh so loud I'll be hoarse to be there to support no matter how many lines are flubbed or ly lyrics are forgotten. In other words, to love them with my whole self, just like all the other proud parents. That was quite a production back in 1988. And I still remember sending little Rachel out there with her signs to introduce each section of how to eat like a child. I love going over these old memories. I hope you enjoy them too. And come back again someday to hear one, two, three more. Have a good one.